Well, good morning and welcome back to the kitchen again. I'm so glad y'all came by Apron Strings to see what I was cooking today. And I'm going to make a meatloaf. And I've got all my ingredients here. And I'm sweating, just barely sweating down my bell peppers and onions and two garlic cloves. I've got them going on the stove. So I'm going to bring y'all up close with the camera where you can see what I'm doing as I do it. And um, we'll get this meatloaf in the oven. Now I want to show y'all a tip that I learned a long time ago. I always spray my pan with uh, bacon spray. But you know how when you cook a meatloaf it has grease just bubbling in the bottom. Even if you use 80-20. Well if you'll take a couple of pieces of light bread and just put it in the bottom of your pan. It soaks up that grease. And when, you, when your meat loaf's done and you lift it out of the pan, you just peel that grease-soaked bread off of the bottom and you've got a meat loaf that's not so greasy and it's easy to get rid of the grease. Your cat or dog will love it. Well, some humans would, but anyhow, that's a tip that y'all need to know to uh, keep the, your meat loaf from being so stinking greasy. So let me get the camera up here and I will show y'all how I make you the list of what I'm going to put in it. I've got about one and a half pounds of, of 80-20 ground chuck. And I'm sweating off a half a cup of finely chopped onions and a half a cup of finely chopped bell pepper and three garlic cloves. And uh, I've got them just uh, two garlic cloves, I'm sorry. And I just wanted them to kind of kind of soften a little bit. And then I'm going to use a cup of breadcrumbs, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of parsley, three tablespoons of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder, the two cloves of garlic that's over there, two eggs, a can of cream of celery soup, one and a half or one half cup and I've got my these are Roma tomatoes that I dehydrated and they've been it's since 16 and they're still good because they were vacuumed and I just whizzed them up in my little Tupperware Power Chef and I'm going to add them to it this is what they looked like in their dehydrated state they're a good snack too because they're like a chip a teaspoon of red hot sauce and a half a cup of mushrooms and I'm going to add a cup of uh, shredded cheese to it. So let me get to mixing it all together and we'll get this meatloaf in the oven. I'm going to cook a good meal today so again like I did Father's Day I'm going to video each dish that I fix so but y'all will just get them one day at a time. So we're starting with the meatloaf and then I'll work on uh, the vegetables and the things that I'm putting with it. So let's get to mixing here. Into my ground beef I'm going to add my cream of celery soup and I have used cream of mushroom but I'm going to use cream of celery today simply to add another flavor. So I've got my soup. I'm going to add two eggs. I don't know if I told y'all, I put a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper also. There's my three tablespoons of onion powder, my two tablespoons of parsley, my half a cup of ground up of tomatoes, my Worcestershire and hot sauce, a teaspoon each, a cup of breadcrumbs, a cup of cheese, and I'm using Kobe Jack because that's what I've got. I'm going to mix this just a bit and then I'm going to get in it with my hands because I'm going to bring my onions and bell pepper over here from the stove. Now I may end up putting a little bit of milk or something in it if I think I need a little more liquid, but we'll see what we've got going here. Okay, that's my half cup of onions, and it's hot. Onions, bell pepper, and mushrooms. Okay. 
Okay, I'll just get in it with my hand. See what it feels like. After you do this a while, you can tell by how it feels, whether how it's going to end up. You don't want it too soft because it'll crumble when you start to um, cut it after it's done. You always want to let it cool a little while. Just like when you cook a steak or something, you let the juices settle. You just let it cool and that way it forms the loaf better and it's firm and you don't have to uh, worry about it coming apart. I think that's about right. So I'm going to put it in here, in the pan, with the bread on it. I may have to make another little one, I don't know. But I like a big, thick meatloaf. I like meatloaf sandwiches if you have leftover. If you're going to warm up your meat after you have leftovers, a lot of people don't like leftovers because they don't like that taste that it gets from the microwave. Well. Wrap it in a piece of tin foil and put it in the oven and heat it and it won't have that stinking meat taste and smell. Anything you can heat or in the skillet, brown it in the skillet. Anything that you can heat on regular heat instead of the microwave, meat wise especially, it's going to taste better. I don't like meat reheated in the microwave. Okay, now you could put ketchup or whatever you wanted to on the top. My husband don't like the the tomatoey stuff on the top, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I probably will make a little uh, cook down a little bit of stewed tomatoes and bell pepper and onion and you know, to spoon on the top of if I want it on there. Now, I like to cover it with foil. And I'm going to put it into the oven for about an hour, and then I'll check the internal temperature with a thermometer. I'm going to bake it at 350, and I will be back to show you what it looks like. And how about my red pan that I found at Goodwill? I love Goodwill. And I love to go on Senior Citizens Day because I get a discount. I'm going to put them on there. I don't know how they'll rehydrate, but the steam, I'm sure, will rehydrate them. All right, going into the oven, and then we'll be back in a little bit and see what it looks like, and I'll taste it and tell y'all how good it is. I want to show y'all one more thing. When I'm putting foil on a pan, instead of just tearing it off and putting it on there, I like to fold the edge in, and that gives you double, and it doesn't tear as bad when you're crimping it around the edges. So fold you in a little piece to work with, and it makes it... I don't know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't rip as bad. So I always have me a little folded in, and then I just crimp it to my pan all the way around. That's just how I do it, and that's what I've got this for, is to show y'all how I do it. Okay, my meatloaf is just about done. <clears throat> so I'm going to prepare a topping that'll be optional, because everybody doesn't like tomatoes with bell peppers and onion and all on it. But I'm going to caramelize these onions a little bit while I sweat the bell peppers. And when that gets ready, I'll season it, of course, with onion garlic powder, a little bit of salt and black pepper, and add a can of stewed tomatoes, and then I'm just going to cook it down a little bit, and we'll spoon that. Maybe I better rephrase that. I will spoon that on top of my piece of meatloaf, because I don't think anybody else is going to want it. But I love it, so that's what I'm fixing. Hey, I wanted to show y'all the meatloaf is out and cooling. See, it's got this, the, it's like sun-dried tomatoes, but they were dehydrated, not freeze-dried on the top. And I've got my um, bell peppers and onions caramelizing. The onions are starting to get some color on them, so I'm just pretty soon going to add the tomatoes and cook it down a little bit. Okay, you can see that the uh, topping is done. It's gotten thick. I've let it simmer till the juice kind of reduced down. So, if you want to get your pen and paper, I'm fixing to tell you exactly what I put in it. And then I'll give you some options besides putting it on the top of meatloaf that you could use this for. In about a tablespoon of olive oil, I sauteed a half a cup of onion and a half a cup of bell pepper until the onion started getting some color on it. Then I added a minced clove of garlic until I could smell it real good. When it starts getting fragrant, it's time to add some more liquid. 
To that, I added a can of stewed tomatoes and I broke them up because some of them were bigger. Two tablespoons of onion powder, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one eighth of a teaspoon of chili powder, three fourths of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and I stirred in one half teaspoon of better than bouillon just to give it a depth of flavor. Now, Besides using this on top of your meatloaf, this would be good if you cook some green beans in bacon like I showed you the other day on another video. You could take some of the liquid out and stir this into them and you would have like Cajun green beans. To me, this is wonderful on a biscuit, a piece of cornbread. Uh, sometimes I'll just make this up and this is what I put on some spaghetti or some egg noodles if I boil them. It's just a good go-to for a topping for a lot of different things. So it's good on rice. Um, a lot of things you can do with it. You can take some leftover rice and uh, caramelize some onions in your pan and add that rice to it and then mix this up and add to it or put it on the top and it, it's delicious. So just a few options for using the topping that we're going to use today on meatloaf. I'm getting ready to take the meatloaf out of the pan and I'm going to show y'all what the bread looks like on the bottom of it and then I'll slice it and put the topping on it. Okay, I'm going to flip my meatloaf out. I've loose it. Now you see the, you see the greasy bread? It just peels off. Uh-oh, I broke my meatloaf. Pooey. But I want to show y'all taking the bread off. It's still very hot. But you peel that bread off, and you don't have a lot of grease to deal with. There'll still be a little bit that escapes, but nothing like it would have been. Let me get it back on the plate, and I'll show okay, you again. Okay, y'all, here's the meatloaf plated up on the serving platter, and I'm fixing to cut a piece and top it with the topping, and I'll be right back to show y'all what it looks okay, like. Okay, y'all, isn't that just pretty? I've got some of the tomato uh, stuff on the top and I put some green onions on it and it's yummy. Just a minute and I'll taste it. Well, this has been fun today. I was cleaning and I messed my other apron up so I had to change aprons. But um, this meatloaf is wonderful and I hope that y'all will enjoy making it. I'm going to taste of it. I've tasted of a little piece that broke off but I want some of the tomato stuff on mine. Now nobody else at my house likes the tomato but I love it. So let's see what it's going to taste like. That's delicious, and it would be delicious without the tomato on the top. Of course, I love tomatoes, so that's perfect for me. I want y'all to try this, and if you do, I need to find my tea glass. Now, wash that down. Um, if you try it, be sure to let me know. It's good, and all through the years when I make a meatloaf, I just dump this in and that in and the other in. But I took time today to measure everything where I have a set recipe to share with my daughter and my granddaughter and whoever else wants it. Of course, all of y'all have it now. And it's turned out perfectly, so let me know if you make it and if you like it. Now, I like meatloaf sandwiches. After we have it for a meal, then uh, we'll make us a meatloaf sandwich. And oh my goodness, that's yummy. But anyway, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you try it. Thank y'all so much for coming by my kitchen. I appreciate every one of y'all watching. And um, my channel's growing and it just tickles me pink. Because I like to share good food with good friends. So y'all... Stay cool if you're where it's hot, because it's hot here, and it rains every other day, it seems like, in Texas, in our area, and I'm tired of rain, uh, you know, and tired of hot, too, but we got that for a while. So, y'all, be careful. Take care of yourself. Share good memories with your family, and what better way than sitting around a table with good food? 
Now this is the first dish of the meal I'm preparing today and y'all will see the other ones for the next two or three days and see what we're having. I'm going to make a um, hash brown casserole next for us today and y'all will see that probably tomorrow. And I have a few more things that I'm going to prepare and I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to tell all my secrets, just a few of them. So y'all have a blessed day. Turn your phones off and visit with your family. Share your day and make some good lasting memories because you know one of these days memories is all we're going to have. The good Lord bless y'all and give you happy times.